kids too, we dedicate our lives to Christ. Riches are good. Beauty are good. But the word of God says, what does it profit a man if he gains the old world and suffer the lust of his souls? Naked will come, naked will return. The coming of the Lord is close. We need to take a new turn. Hello everyone. How are we today? Hope we're doing good and great. God is able to see us through. Welcome to our moments with the Lord. I still remain your friend and sister. Sister Isioma Oche. Can we please take a word of prayers together? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. You brought us to hear your word. Open our understanding and speak through me. I ask, O oh God, that as many that will be connected to this ministration today, let our lives be transformed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, can you make this confession with me? I am whom God says I am. I am what God says I am. I am not what the enemy says I am. Amen. And that is it. So there we'll be speaking the topic that says the arrival of the master, the return of our master, the return of Jesus Christ. Many people today ask the question, is Jesus still coming? Are you sure the Lord is still coming? Absolutely yes, he is still coming because he told us that he's coming. Let's see what the Bible tells us. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verses 11. And it says, Behold, I come quickly. All that fast which thou hast, that no man take thee crown. Hallelujah. Jesus said it's coming again. But it's so amazing that we don't talk much about the coming of Jesus any longer. And that is the main reason why Jesus came to die. He came to die to save us, to redeem us, so that we can also preach to others and make them to accept Jesus. We keep on talking about prosperity today. It is good. We keep on talking about the blessings of God, that Jesus loves us. But we don't talk about the things that Jesus does not want us to do any longer. Beloved in Christ, we must be honest with ourselves today. Jesus is coming very soon. And is not coming to rapture with everyone. He is coming only for those that are ready to go with him. He said, Behold, I come quickly. All the that which you have believed. Many are dropping their faith. Many are doing other things that say they've been waiting and the Lord has not come. Remember what the Bible says, a thousand years in the sight of God is just like a day. The Lord is coming very soon. All the signs he gave to us are almost coming to an end. Tribulations, war, earthquake, pandemic, disasters, they are all in place today. Jesus is coming very soon. Nobody knows when he's going to come. Nobody knows the time or the day, but the fact is it's coming. The big question we should be asking ourselves is, are we prepared for the return of the master? It's just like a person that wants to travel to the UK. He or she has to get his visa and go for a ticket if the person does not have the breathing passport. Are we prepared? How are we preparing? If the master comes, where is he going to meet us? Is he going to meet us in the beer parlor? Is he going to meet us doing a sort of atrocity? Beloved in Christ, Jesus is coming very soon. And verse 12 says, In that overcome will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and it shall go no more out. 
to them that overcome to the end, the Lord says he's going to go with A. We need to rededicate our lives to Christ. Riches are good. Beauty are good. But the word of God says, what does it profit a man if he gains the old world and suffer the loss of his souls? We have never heard of a person that has been buried and they bury the person with his or her own cars or houses. Naked will come, naked will return. The coming of the Lord is close. We need to take a new turn. We are still alive because the Lord wants us to amend our ways. Let's not be carried away with doctrines that will not lead us to eternity. Let's make our way straight. Let's be focused. Depend on God. Trust on God. Look up to God and the Lord will see us through. In Jesus' name, amen. The moments have come for us to rededicate our lives to Christ Jesus. Please, you can say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm sorry for all the wrongs I've done. I say bye-bye to the works of the enemies. I accept you into my life today as my Lord and personal Savior. Write my name, O God, in the book of life. Thank you, my Father, for accepting me. For in Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. Congratulations if you said that word of prayer. But salvation is a continuous process. We must keep on forging ahead until we see our Master and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks to everyone that subscribed. And for those that are yet to subscribe, please subscribe and help us share the video. Still safe and still blessed. Amen.